What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Like and subscribe or you'll get shanked by someone with a prison tattoo. Prison is a tough and scary place, and the gangs inside make it even worse. Today we're gonna check out some intense prison gang tattoos and find out what they really mean. Stick around until the end to find out the true meaning behind a tattoo that will blow your mind. Inmates in American prisons get crosses tattooed all over their bodies, and they don't hold any significance other than letting everyone know that they're religious. However, if a prisoner in Russia has a cross tattooed on their chest, it signifies that they're a high-ranking Russia Mafia member, and you should avoid them at all costs. Unlike most gang tattoos in America, if you get a Russian Mafia tattoo without earning it first, you'll be tortured and killed. That's why if you run into a Russian with one of these on their chest, you should just turn around and go back the other way. The Russian Mafia is one of the most brutal crime organizations in the world, and its members are taught from a young age how to use violence against their enemies. The three dot tattoo doesn't belong to any specific gang, it just means that the person who owns it is part of the gangster lifestyle. It translates to mi vida loca, my crazy life, and basically means that you're ready to commit a crime anytime and anywhere. People with this tattoo are known to be violent and unpredictable, and you should try not to get involved with them. You never know when someone with a three dot tattoo is going to do something crazy, so it's best to just steer clear of them altogether. White supremacist gangs can be found all over America, and they hold a ton of power inside of prison. 1488 is one of the most popular tattoos for members of these gangs to show their loyalty. 1488 might also be split up into either just 14 or 88. The 14 stands for 14 words, a quote by David Lane who was a Nazi leader. The quote reads, We must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children. And the 88 stands for HH, since H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. This means Heil Hitler. These tattoos are an easy way to spot these violent losers. And as dumb as they are, they're not afraid to commit murder in the name of their cause, so they have become one of the most dangerous gangs in the prison system. The FBI has even classified white supremacist gangs as domestic terror organizations due to the violence that they cause even outside of prison. The teardrop tattoo is probably the most famous prison tattoo of all time. It's become so popular that even people who have never committed a crime have put these tattoos on their face because they think it looks cool. However, behind bars, these tattoos still carry serious weight and are used to let people know how violent you are. A teardrop that's completely filled in means you've killed someone. And every time you add another person to your body count, you get a new teardrop. Also, teardrop outlines are used to signify an attempted murder. And if you go on to kill that same person later on, then you get the teardrop filled in. A playing card tattoo in America might just mean that you like to gamble, but in Russia, they mean something completely different. Every card represents a different crime that you've committed, and the higher the card, the worse the crime was. Face cards are reserved for the most brutal crimes, and different suits mean different ways of committing a crime. For example, an ace stands for a murder you committed, but if you have an ace of spades, that means you shot them to death, and an ace of hearts means you stabbed them. The more card tattoos you have, the more dangerous of a criminal you are. There are even secret combinations of cards that only the highest ranking members of the Russian Mafia understand. Violent tattoos usually have violent meanings in prison, and a knife through the neck is no different. This brutal tattoo advertises that you're willing to kill someone for money and that you've already killed people before. Someone with a knife through their neck is ready to commit murder at a moment's notice, and have no regard for human life whatsoever. Inmates that have this on their body are feared by everyone in the prison, because you never know who their next target's going to be. They have no allegiance to any particular gang and will take money from anyone who needs someone to be murdered. A clock with no hands is used by prisoners who have received very long sentences and is meant to stand for the fact that time doesn't mean anything to them. A lot of inmates who are serving life sentences will get this tattooed on them to let people know that they're seriously violent criminals and are not to be messed with. It's very rare to see someone out on the street with this tattoo, but if you do, just know that they've spent most of their life involved with violent crime. Only the worst of the worst decide to get these initials tattooed on them, and it's usually across their knuckles. EWMN stands for Evil, Wicked, Mean, Nasty. This is meant to let everyone know exactly how bad of a person you are, and that your violence and sadism knows no bounds. Prisoners with this tattoo live to make other people's lives miserable, and they're some of the most violent and brutal inmates ever. A lot of prisoners with this tattoo end up in solitary confinement because they can't stop hurting other inmates and guards. Once they put this on their body, it's not likely that they'll ever get released from prison due to their violent nature, which is a good thing for the rest of us, but not for the people they're locked up with. Here are some more initials that signify a violent prisoner. ACAB stands for All Cops or Bastards, and is tattooed on people who have hurt or killed cops or prison guards. 
This means that they aren't afraid of authority and that nobody is off limits to them. Most prisoners know that messing with the guards is a bad idea, but people with this tattoo don't care. They'll attack guards just as easily as they'll attack anyone else. The Latin Kings are one of the largest and deadliest gangs in America. They have chapters in every state of the country and have a giant organizational pipeline that they funnel drugs, guns, and people through. When a member goes to prison for the first time, one of the first tattoos they get is the five-point crown. This is like a way of earning your stripes within the gang and lets everyone know that you aren't afraid of violence or going to prison. There are other types of crown tattoos as well, but none of them represent a more brutal crime syndicate than the one with five points. AB, or Aryan Brotherhood, is the largest white nationalist prison gang in America. These Nazi-loving sickos are known to be incredibly violent, especially towards inmates who are not white. Unlike some of the more overt Nazi tattoos like swastikas, the AB tattoo makes it easier to go unnoticed by people who don't know what it means. That way you won't be targeted by rival gangs as much or looked at as closely by guards. The five dot tattoo is usually placed on the back of the hand and means either you're serving time behind bars or have spent time there before. This is not a tattoo that first time criminals get. The five dots are reserved for people who have been in and out of prison their entire lives. Even if they're out of prison at one point, they know that they'll be going back at some point. The four corner dots represents the walls of the prison and the dot in the center represents the prisoners stuck inside the walls. The Mexican Mafia is a prison gang that has become notorious for their brutal attacks on people who aren't members of their organization. They use a handprint tattoo with an M in the middle of it to recognize each other and warn others away from them. This extremely dangerous group is also connected to an outside cartel that helps them smuggle in weapons, drugs, cell phones, and whatever else they need while they're locked up behind bars. Members of this gang have been known to brutalize other inmates in absolutely horrifying ways, such as scalping them or removing their eyes with a toothbrush. Prisoners who get the Virgin Mary tattooed on them while locked up are usually criminals who got involved with breaking the law at a young age. This tattoo can also signify the fact that the inmate feels at home inside the prison and will even commit more crimes just so that they can stay there. These inmates are highly dangerous because they'll do everything they can to keep from being released out into freedom. That involves attacking their fellow inmates or even a prison guard if they get the opportunity. This is another tattoo that doesn't mean anything to American prisoners, but has a secret meaning to Russian inmates. A cat tattoo in Russia means that someone is an experienced thief, and sometimes even an assassin. Depending on how the cat is depicted, the criminal may be something like a pickpocket or something deadlier like a paid killer. Only members of the criminal underworld know the differences between the styles. What might seem to be an innocent portrait of someone's pet may turn out to be a signal that they're an extremely dangerous criminal. A spiderweb tattoo on the elbow means that the person who has it received a long prison sentence and is willing to die there. Someone with this tattoo isn't afraid to commit even more crimes behind bars, including assault and murder because they've already accepted the fact that they probably won't ever be released. Spiderwebs on other parts of the body can mean other things, but aren't typically associated with prisoners. But if you see someone with a web on their elbow, then they're without a doubt a hardened criminal who most likely went to prison for a violent crime. Getting an image of the Grim Reaper tattooed on you is pretty common, even for people who aren't criminals. However, a tattoo of a hooded executioner doesn't just mean you've killed someone, it actually means you've killed one of your own family members. This tattoo is reserved for the most brutal and violent prisoners there are, the ones who will kill anyone, no matter who they are. Even other inmates will avoid someone who has this tattooed on them, and for good reason. These people don't live by any rules or laws, and will brutally attack someone over even the slightest provocation or just because they're bored.